Hi everyone, this is Sunit, and in this video, we are having a look at the serious stuff. What, am, what do I mean by the serious stuff? And the serious stuff. Um, the serious stuff being, you know, I looked at a point recently uh, within myself, which was fine, which was about finding a an ever so slight tendency within me to kind of resist. Um, but there's not even really the effort of resistance that's going on. It's more just a complete of a sweeping underneath the rug, but there's not even really a sweeping happening. It's just almost naturally happening where I don't want to really work with or or look at or spend time with you know, serious matters or matters of the heart uh, that uh, that is and has been profound within me. And this in, in relation to the well, how I define the serious things, uh, which is in relation to those closest to me, you know, where if you have a look at comparing uh, what experiences within yourself you give the most attention to you will interestingly enough see that you give the least amount of attention to the things that's going on inside of you about someone that is closest to you in your life uh, and your life experience or um, you'll give the least amount of attention to that one person who has been a part of your life quite uh, extensively and excessively in, in your past, and they're still very much alive in your memories, uh, inside yourself, um, in your world in some way or another where you might still have, um, uh, let's call it inadvertent contact with them through social networking or through friends, friends, things like that. So I hadn't very interesting look at this tendency within me of why it is that let's say with my partner or with an uh, with an individual who was a very good friend in the past why these two extreme polarities do I give the least amount of attention to points that's going on inside of me about them but I tend to just just not look at it. Um, it's 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 like that immediate straight erasing that happens, um, and there's not even, as I said, an effort of I'm not looking at it or erasing it or sweeping it under the rug or resisting it. It just happens. It's like um, when it even tries the problems or the issues inside of me even try and rise up inside of me it's like an immediate you don't even dare come up you know type of ah, no no ah. you're kind of doing that that uh, like Jackie Chan action <laughs> a karate act, chop action or Bruce Lee with his speed um, we're like nope not happening not even going to come up inside of me um, but I then focus and place my attention to everything else um, in my everyday life in, and inside of me. So how this also came about was that I found something curious about myself and my everyday life, which was the fact of finding that I keep on rehashing the same things over and over and over again. Um, let's say rehashing the same things like habits um, that are compromising in my everyday life. Let's look at basics that we all can relate to, uh, scheduling, organizing, planning, um, fulfilling ideas, placing projects into action, getting things moving, putting yourself out there, uh, working on other relationships, things like that, where you know, there's everyday life things with others, maybe a little bit in relation to your present, more intimate relationship and your past relationships, but it's like there's actually this vacuum that you create in the center of yourself and your life where you'll find, and I'm sure many can relate to this, that you keep on trying to work with the same things over and over and over again, but it's like you're getting nowhere. 
and you keep on falling and you keep on standing up. And I think you've we've already proven to ourselves, look, if we're going to fall, we're going to stand up. But I mean, there must be a problem then if this keeps on going on, where it becomes like a habit to fall and stand up, fall and stand up, fall and stand up. But you know, you have to push because it's just something that you know is there, but you can't quite figure out what, but it's driving you to keep on pushing, to keep on trying, to keep on finding ways to not give up, to stand up. And I mean, I've in all these things that keep on recycling, felt like I have gone way and beyond even finding a thousand ways not to do it, <laughs> you know, um, and keep on hoping for that one way to do it. And and I just also one day sat back, I'm like, okay, no, this is enough because it doesn't make any sense. Um, so for a while, I just gave up on everything. I didn't even try anymore. I just said, I stepped out of it and I kind of went on a holiday. I'm just I just said, okay, this is enough. I need to step out of this because it was like I was tumbling into these points that I'm trying to change. And I'm not saying just weeks of it, I'm saying years. And it's just not coming to any fruition. If anything, it's just making life worse for myself, for everyone around me. So I just stopped everything for a while, stepped out of it, didn't even try mentally, physically, self, no attention and focus to it. Then I was like, okay, right, now I need to map everything out again um, and have a look at my life equally. So I wrote past, present and future. First I had to look at all my relationships because I know one of the main things that tend to create surface problems, but there's actually deeper things going on behind it is relationships. Um, relationships, sexuality, and money, those three things. So I wrote past, present, future, relationship, sex, money, and asked myself, okay, what's all my relationships in these time frames? Where am I at with them? What are the problems and issues in all of it? And this is where I saw, oh my God, there was my relationship right in front of me and past relationships that I still had unresolved issues with, where I wasn't speaking. And I, because I wasn't speaking and suppressing um, all those aspects of my relationship with them and with myself was like, like building this emotional turmoil inside of me. And because it was being suppressed and I didn't want to face it, I made other issues and points bigger than what they really were. And my life was kind of showing me, you're not going to change these things until you deal with the things that you are suppressing. I'm not going to let you change, let's say, discipline, organizing things, scheduling, planning, getting projects going, caring and working out relationships and wanting and desiring things because it's like you as life speaking to you and saying this to you because if I give that to you then I'm going to do you more of a disservice because then you're going to think ah oh, that was the problem when all of this time it wasn't it can be as simple as two relationships and two unresolved problems and issues within them that can be causing all this everyday life havoc in your life so since I started working with these two relationships and working through all my personal unresolved things and starting to reach out more and communicate more and kind of still getting to that point, I find that even in my everyday life, I have a lot more clarity. Um, I'm a lot much more calm. And one of the greatest epiphanies in all of this was that my direction that I was going in, in terms of wanting to be disciplined, organized, planning and structuring a project and things like that, was not the way I was supposed to go in the first place. And other doors started opening up and it was more like my life started opening up in a way of doors that I didn't see before, but was always right here in front of me. Um, and as I've been starting to open those doors and work through them, They've been complementing, you know, a business or a project that I've actually been wanting to deal with and inadvertently has been helping me with organizing and scheduling and planning. So <laughs> it's fascinating how life works out. So the main point here, and I'll continue in the next recording, 
uh, video recording to make it more practical for everyone to have a lookout for is um, if there's everyday life things that you kind of went into tunnel vision with that you're trying to figure out and sort out and it's just happening over and over and over and it's almost like getting tougher and tougher and harder and harder to get out of states that you go into or possessions and things you have to go a bit deeper in your levels and look at the aspects of sex relationship and money um, because if those things have unresolved suppressed emotional issues and burdens inside of you what's going to happen is your mind is going to channel all that suppressed energy into basic everyday life stuff and then you're going to exert all that energy almost like um, creating an exercise regime for yourself where you're just lashing out all those suppressed energies onto everyday life things and you're literally going to um, uh, tumble yourself and throw yourself um, into a completely possibly incorrect direction in your life um, that you're not even supposed to go into. That's why your life just isn't working. That's why you're not working in your life and with your life. And that should be a reference we can use. If you're just not working with your everyday life and your everyday life is not just not working with you, stop for a moment, sit back and look at all these aspects of yourself with your life. All right, everyone, um, we'll continue more in the next video with this very serious discussion on these very serious points. Thank you very much. <laughs>